All right, hey guys, and how about we watch a death battle? That's right, death battle is back, baby. I was waiting for this. I was waiting for death battle to come. So, so the season premiere, so the first episode for 2022 is between Harley Quinn from Batman, that's supposed to say DC, against Jinx from Arcane, from our League of Legends, whatever you want to call her. So yeah, basically battle of the crazy bitches. So, hmm, I've made a trailer for this matchup. At first, I was thought it was gonna be Tondra's matchup, but no, uh, they announced it like for I think Women's National Women's Day, I guess. So diving into this, I think that Jinx is going to win. I st even stated it in my, the trailer that I made. So yeah. I'm going with Jinx, diving into this. Let's go. Let's go. Harley Quinn, DC's fantabulous anti-hero. Yep. Jinx, the loose cannon of League of Legends. Mm -hmm. We live in a society that adheres to strict laws and norms, but these two ladies turn that system on its head with their wild enthusiasm for destruction and chaos. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick! And, and it's our job to analyze their, their weapons, armor, armor, and skills to find out who would win, win a death, death battle. battle. Oh, it's CGI. <laughs> All right. I know more about Born Harley. Born to a middle-class family in the heart of Brooklyn, USA, Harleen Quinzel had long lived a life of mediocrity. She had embarrassing parents, annoying siblings, and a high school life that sucked. Even yes, more than, like, the normal it did ones. Suck. She never quite felt like she fit in anywhere. But despite this, Harley knew she was destined for greatness. So, mm -hmm. inspired by a childhood crush turned psychotic murderer, Harleen spent years training to be a world renowned criminal psychiatrist, yes. eventually traveling to Gotham City's infamous Arkham Asylum to research yeah. the most dangerous criminals on the planet, like Batman's arch nemesis, the Joker. the Joker. But after analyzing the Joker and his horrific, unspeakable history 27. as a homicidal clown and Jared Leto, Loves Deadpool Red to one point and I mean. true. <laughs> the Joker was actually a misunderstood angel squashed down by an unjust society and wrongfully harassed by that son of a bitch Batman. Batman. This was the first of the Joker's many manipulations, leading Harleen to see a warped reflection of herself through him, yeah. culminating in her breaking him out of prison, bleaching her skin via chemical va baptism, yeah, that's how and she joining became him crazy on like life him. of crime. Descending into love like madness and reborn as the fantastic Harley, Harley Quinn. Quinn. And she was packing plenty of tools of maniacal mayhem, including her iconic hammer, electric buzzers, and bombs of all shapes and sizes, like yep. the dreaded banana cream pie, the most evil of all pie flavors. <laughs> when she wants to get around quickly, she can use her handy dandy pogo stick, which she straps rockets to. That doesn't mm. seem safe. Speaking no, of unsafe, hey, Harley's most versatile tool is her pop gun. A rotating yeah. revolver with special ammo rounds, like a boxing glove. Whoa! Oh, oh, close one! And binding confetti. <laughs> yep. And did I mention explosive rounds? Which I don't Oh, God. Oh, my leg is gone! Oh, no. no. Oh, wait. There it was. Uh, I'm fine. On screen. I'm gonna go. Harley combines her arsenal oh, with unparalleled gymnastic skills, making her far deadlier than your average yeah, she criminal. Has really she good can reflexes. even keep up with experts like Deadshot and Catwoman, uh -huh. even Batman at times. The peak human superhero that can dodge lightning and survive this alien device exploding, which oh, obliterated God. multiple city blocks. Oh, right. Yeah, I think that stretches the term peak human just a bit. But hey, he's the goddamn Batman, so... Yeah. Unfortunately Batman for Harley, so. despite her unwavering loyalty to the Joker, their honeymoon period did not last. No, he it did not. Years abusing her of physically course. and emotionally, uh, yes, tearing that is her so down true. piece by piece. Then when he That's got bored, he strapped her to a friggin' rocket and launched her halfway across Gotham City. Oh, Guess that's one God, way to say, man, no, no, it's not awesome. you, it's me. Bye. Harley was left alone in the wreckage abandoned by the one person she dedicated her entire life to. Until fellow villain Poison Ivy came by, 
She nursed Harley back to health, yep. literally healing her from a damaged relationship. Basically. I've even gave Harley a chemical concoction that granted her superhuman strength and a healing factor. I suppose oh, a healthy shit. relationship can sometimes feel like your Man, own I did not know in that much about. I did not yeah, know that about Harley. Those two definitely seem like very good friends. Wink. With More than that. at her side, Harley went on to rebuild herself as a famous anti-hero, leading yep. teams like the Gotham Sirens and Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. She worked on developing new skills built around her own strength rather than that of her past. Mm. Like learning to use her lifelong knowledge of psychoanalysis to manipulate her foes mid-combat. And creating tons of her own chemical concoction, like tranquilizers and sleeping gases that can incapacitate medic-humans. She oh, even reverse-engineered her former flame's trademark cool. Joker Venom. This deadly substance excites the laughter centers in a person's brain and All forces right. them to laugh until they suffocate. Oh. Harley was clearly on top of the world, but nothing caps off self-improvement like a Rocky Balboa training montage. So Harley mm. went to Themyscira of all places to get a combat internship oh, with the Wonder Amazon, from. just like her favorite superhero, Wonder Woman. Yep. And imagine going from bashing random goons in Gotham to fighting alongside immortal warrior goddesses. She became yeah. agile enough to jump between skyscrapers and strong enough to rip an entire palm tree out of the ground with her bare hands. Based on the size of the tree and the weight of oh, an average they're doing palm by foot, that weighs about 600 pounds, oh. and she can hold it one-handed. So her actual strength is probably at least twice as much. Yeah. Enough to lift a full-grown brown bear and throw it like Street a fighter. ragdoll. Hell, her skills advanced so far, she was appointed a herald on the War World Apocalypse. You know, the planet yeah. ruled by the living embodiment of evil? Even the actual personification of the DC editorial staff likes to call her in to help with tough jams. As the years went on, Harley surprised literally everyone by transitioning from supervillain to superhero. She partnered up with yeah. other heroes, became a psychiatrist that again, me as and well. legitimately started helping other vigilantes with trauma, like Jason yeah. Todd, who the Red Hood. definitely needed that. In fact, the Bat family she used to antagonize and ridicule eventually accepted her as kind of an extended member of their group, teaming up mm. with her to save Gotham from her toxic ex. Good for her. Yeah. Guess we're not going to talk about it when she went back to the Joker a couple times, huh? In the end, mm -hmm. she may be a little nutty, but you'd be mad oh, that's not from the to TV show. Harley Quinn. Nice. The world of Rune Terra oh. is a wondrous right, fantasy Let's land of advanced got. technology, arcane magics, and legendary champions. But on its northern shores are two cities locked in political turmoil. For decades, Piltover's rich elite have exploited oh, yeah, the undercity of yep, Zong, powder. forcing workers into unsafe I conditions love arcane. and brutalizing the populace with terrifying police enforcers. Oh, so like New Jersey. You could have just said New Jersey. Until one day, a wild, loose cannon would literally explode onto the scene. She gave those uptight topsiders a taste okay. of their own medicine. Medicine oh, they, people with bombs, they're gunfire, the and even more bombs. Star this Guardian in was Lake Jinx. Lake. Jinx destroyed okay. Zeppelin's Thanks Jumanji the... the shit out of the local zoo Put and <gasps> switched the street signs. What a monster. Now yeah. those monkeys will never find their way back. Only the Enforcer, rough, Violet, could hope to stop her. But yeah. even armed with massive gauntlets weighing over 4,000 pounds each, oh, Vi shit. could not definitively overcome Jinx's magnificent arsenal of mechanical monstrosities. Man, oh my they're God. so evenly matched. It's almost like they're uh, related. Anyway, Jinx can watch <laughs> open birds with her trusty Zapper Shock pistol, turn enemies to Swiss cheese with her That's Pow Pow uh, minigun, and blow like bad guys to bits with her flame chopper grenade. But Jinx's favorite weapon is her arcane. fish bones rocket They're launcher. Not using the so much so, she rides it like a legend. rocket powered pogo stick. Well, that seems even less safe. Well, don't let her manic attitude fool you. Not only is Jinx tough enough to take a hit from Brom, a guy who can shake mountains with a punch, oh. but she's wicked smart. Almost all her gear is custom made. She's even recreated Hextech. Yeah. Funky science powered by magic crystals. Yep. Ooh. Including her handheld teleportation device. Oh, my bad. Is that hey. League of Legends? BBX. What a coincidence. Oh, no. Hold the phone. Are, are you talking about League of Legends over there? Oh. I love that game. Hey. I've got in more than 10,000 hey, hours. Master. Just in our college days, huh, buddy? <laughs> League of <laughs> Legends is a multiplayer online battle arena game forged in the flames of LAN parties and salty oh, there, gamer we're, tears. Including oh. Runeterra, MOBA, And as any MOBA, professional will tell League you, to play the game well, you need to min-max your character's loadout with the best possible yep. items. Yeah, and the worst mistake you can make is being items. new. 
God, it's the midterms all over again. No, uh -huh. Snake, stay in your lane. What are you doing in the jungle? Stop it, feeder. Jinx's ideal uh -huh. loadouts include Phantom Dancer, so she uh -huh. can phase through objects after landing a blow. I'd like to phase out of this conversation. Then there's the Quicksilver Sash, which protects her from status effects like sleep, paralysis, and poison. This includes forced actions, which make you do things you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Hey, boom! You want to pop into a match with your old Teemo from back in the day? I can set it up right now. Uh, How about we move on to Arcane before I A-ram my foot up your ass? Damn. So, there's more to Jinx than what the main games depict. Yeah. Before her infamous tomfoolery, most people around Zon knew her as an innocent young tinkerer named Powder. Powder. Like pretty much everyone in the Undercity, Powder had it rough. She lost her parents in a conflict with enforcers, but yep. had a bit of luck I when she joined game. this cool foster family along with Vi, who was, guess, her sister all along. Damn. If you're wondering what put Soap in their opera, Vi was a total badass, and Powder yes, was desperate was. to also prove herself to her newfound family. And then she made a mistake. Yep. Seemingly abandoned, Powder was left in the hands of the most notorious drug kingpin around. Silco was not Silco. the father she yep. needed, but the one she wanted, teaching her to turn her perceived weaknesses into her greatest strengths. Thus, she became Jinx. Even when the sisters reunited years later, they couldn't fully reconcile, setting nope. up the game of cat and mouse in the game. Jinx was <laughs> an excellent rival, able to keep up with other skilled warriors like the bullet-dodging Echo, and survive the worst uh. of Zahn's toxic environments which can kill normal people in minutes. After a near-fatal explosion, she was also infused with Shimmer, a toxic strength and speed-enhancing drug that permanently altered her body's biochemistry. Mm. But Shimmer's side effects intensified her prior trauma, making her much more unhinged and prone to attacking with lethal intent, inspiring her ultimate weapon, the Super, Super Mega, Mega Death, Death Rocket! Rocket! This baby's been powered by both Hextech, and it's even more volatile. I did not watch this episode Chemtech. of That's Death even Battle. More explosive. I just came home from school. I forgot how much I appreciated the explodey options. Anyway, both Hextech and Chemtech are comparable in power to natural magic. I can't magic. believe I said that. On with what a badass maze like a Lux remaster. is able to cast, such as Lucent Singularity, which can totally body these big old rocks. Measuring their oh. width with Lux's height, oh, we can oh, determine shit. she destroyed oh, almost 13,000 tons of rock oh. from 30 meters away. Promotional trailers show Mega Death Rocket matching the speed and power of Lux's final spark. Oh. A much more powerful attack that fires a Kamehameha of natural Kamehameha. light. Our rocket is not only super strong, but super fast. From powder to gunpowder, Silco couldn't be prouder. But her violet streak grew grim until the day she met a particularly explosive Yordle. Ziggs bonded with her over their mutual passion for destruction, but his was more tempered control. Thanks to his wisdom, Jinx learned a little bit of restraint when it came to exploding things of a more fleshy nature. Mm -hmm. Helping her tone down the wanton violence and recover some of her mental stability, like he's some kind of feline brand Jiminy Cricket. And despite huh. being on opposite sides of the bridge, Jinx and Vi remain sisters, mm -hmm. ultimately still caring about each other in Aww. their own way, even if they were at That's... odds more often than not. Though you better believe that when things get boring and uptight, Jinx will be there to shake things up. Okay, so I feel like I'm gonna give my prediction in the next part, so...